I am so excited to be filming this video for you. I'm going to edit a couple shoot that we did in three different styles using our Homebody preset pack. I'm going to edit it bright and airy using Skylight, vibrant and classic using Eucalyptus, and warm and earthy using Terracotta. It's going to be so much fun. And at the end, I will tell you which preset, which style that I like the most, um, which I think is personally best for this shoot. And I would love to know your opinion. So you can leave your vote down in the comments on your favorite style of edit for this shoot. I absolutely love this shoot that we're about to show you. And we wanted to share a bit of context with you first mm. because we think stories behind shoots are the best. Like I love hearing them and I love telling them. Yeah. So this shoot was a little while ago. We were specifically, remember we were specifically building our portfolio at that time. It was mm. like portfolio building round two yeah. of our career. And we wanted to give ourselves images that, you know, that would better reflect our heart for intimacy, for connection and for the quietness of elopements. That's what we were trying to build. So mm. we reached out to an up and coming venue near Portland, Oregon called the Woodlands House. And he was excited to have, you know, more wedding shoots for his portfolio as yeah. he wanted more weddings at the house. And so we had a location. And then we asked our friends, Anna and Greg, because they were flying, do you remember this? They were flying into Portland airport like that day and it worked out unbelievably perfect timing and they yeah. were available to stay at the house with us mm. for a few nights and to be part of the shoot but i mean honestly when you strip all away the perfectly aligned logistics we wanted them because they value slow they value connection they value real emotion and they have a a realness and a rawness to their love that we've always been drawn to and then we planned the shoot. Yeah. We really specifically crafted the day around true connection. Mm. Um, a slow morning together, laughing, drinking coffee, and actually being together. Uh, then we set up a ceremony spot using our own wedding macrame and oh, some yeah. flowers um, that, that you put together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they read vows and it was, it was very sweet. Yeah, they weren't um, their actual vows. No. <laughs> they were spontaneous words of affection to each other, but. Um, yeah, they just like, I think they had pretend papers, yeah. Yeah. but then all of a sudden they started just spontaneously saying things they loved about mm. each other. It was mm. so great. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, and then we just kind of had fun around the pop property, emulating mm. the kind of um, elopement day that we'd love to have with future clients. Yeah. Um, then the best part, we went to the same waterfall that Anne and Greg went to on their wedding day. Yes. Um, and we both had the same wedding photographer, funny enough, um, Ben Chase, and we shot them there again, uh, which was really special for them. And yes, this was for our portfolio, uh, but we did it for the sake of connection and emotion. And so we paid attention to their story yeah. and went to the same waterfall that they were at so many years ago. So now I'm going to film myself editing the in-home part of the shoot that we had with them to showcase how you can edit the same shoot three different ways if you want using our new home body presets. And you know, we really want to show you an insight into what I'm about to film. We're not gonna show you all of it. Um, and we will be blocking out some parts of the screen, you know, just to protect the, the presets being exclusive for our customers, but it's still a great insight that we're about to show you into how you can edit different ways depending on your style and depending on your clients. Yeah. The editing tutorials that come with our home body preset bundle have training just like this, mm -hmm. not only in how to use the presets, but also advanced tutorials where we don't keep back any secrets. Yeah. Uh, keep watching to see an insight into this video tutorial of editing this in-home couple shoot three different ways. And if you want to see more, you'll get full access of our editing tutorials with our home body preset bundle, which includes six Lightroom presets, six Lightroom mobile presets, and five editing tutorial videos. Hit the link uh, below to see all the info about our home body preset bundle. And without further ado, here's the video tutorial. This editing tutorial is brought to you by our free preset, Seasons Free. Uh, bright, clean, timeless, and crazy easy to use. It comes with a free video tutorial on how to edit skin tones in Lightroom. 
and is available at athenaandcameron.com forward slash free. Once again, that's <laughs> athenaandcameron.com forward slash free. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> I love this shoot so much. Today I'm going to edit it three different ways to show you how versatile the home body presets can be, but also just to show you how different photographers and different clients like different styles and how one isn't better than another, but you can choose the best style for the people and the place that you're photographing. This, this shoot is very slow and quiet. Um, with Anna and Greg at the Woodlands House in Oregon. It's always been one of our favorites. Today, I'm going to edit this shoot with Skylight for a bright and airy vibe, with Eucalyptus for a vibrant and classic vibe, and with Terracotta for a warm and earthy vibe. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. And at the end, I'll tell you which one I personally think is best for this shoot, but let's begin by opening up Lightroom. So I have created three collections um, of Anna and Greg and I've just created some virtual copies and now I'm gonna go through, I think I'm going to start with Skylight. I think it's just really simple, very bright, very easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all the images in the library module and I'm gonna go over here to save presets and I'm going to paste Skylight straight on top of all of them. And while I'm in the library module to make the most of my time, your time. <laughs> what I like to do when I'm editing is stay in the library module and actually toggle and tweak the exposure and if necessary, the temperature and tint. So you can see here this image is overexposed, so I bring the exposure down. The same with this one, it's overexposed. And I'll just do that for a little while and it will save me so much time later as I go to edit each photo one by one. I'm actually gonna do that for every single collection just to show you, like for example, this particular preset, Skylight, has so much brightness uh, built into the preset itself. <laughs> and so a lot of these I am bringing down the exposure. I mean, this one, I will have to bring it up. It's really, really simple, very easy. And now I'm gonna go through them one by one. I love this house so much. This is the Woodland House in Portland, Oregon. And it was really new. It had just been finished. I feel like Skylight is so easy to use. It's so simple. It just brightens everything up. It makes everything look clean, easy. <laughs> Ugh. Greg was losing it. It was so funny. It's funny how even though a lot of time has passed since we actually took these photos. It feels like I was just there. And if it feels like that for me as the photographer, how much more would it feel like it for the people in the image? That's the privilege we have, right? The privilege we have to help people remember whatever it was they were laughing at. And even if they don't remember, just to remember the feeling itself. You can see I'm really bringing down the exposure. So again, Skylight is very a very bright preset. That was the whole point, bright and airy. Um, just very pretty, simple, clean, easy. A lot of couples probably really like edits like this because they're very classic, timeless, fit on their Instagram feed, whatever it might be. Um, it's also a very reliable way to edit, very consistent. Um, you know that it's going to work across a variety of shoots, which means your own work will be consistent with itself. And that's it, that's Skylight done. That was so easy. 
<laughs> okay, next I am going to do eucalyptus. Much more vibrant and it's going to be so much fun because there are a lot of colors in this place. So let's have a go doing eucalyptus. Okay, eucalyptus is done. I am actually shocked at how much I liked that. I really, really like the vibrant feel in this particular context because we were in the woods, because there was that beautiful caramel color couch. I don't know, I just, I feel like it was actually really fitting and it would be, it would make a lot of sense if you wanted to edit in this style for your clients for a shoot like this. Okay, last but not least, terracotta. I'm excited for this. I really, really love uh, editing desaturated a little bit in anything with like that warm beige tone. This uh, terracotta has the different Adobe color profile. It has modern too. You can actually bring it up if you want it. So let's zoom in on their faces. So super like gentle, desaturated, a little bit more vibrant and colorful. So that's like fun to play with if you're using terracotta, uh, especially for portraits, but we just oh my gosh it looks so beautiful i love terracotta so much actually i think terracotta looks extremely good because of the tone of the couch um the tone of the just a lot of white walls right Hmm, this one's interesting. For terracotta, this one is so washed out, so I'm actually gonna dehaze it a little bit. Just a little trick of mine that I like doing sometimes. This one definitely has more of a grainy vibe to it. I don't know if you like editing your weddings or your couple shoots very grainy, but I really love the way it looks here in these two portraits with the white walls behind them and this really interesting white. And I love the, the color of her skin and the way that the browns, beiges, golds, caramel, all those colors look really beautiful. And there it is, terracotta. Man, I love terracotta. Okay, let's have a look at all of them. As I was editing them, I found myself most excited by, personally, um, the vibe of terracotta. Grainy, desaturated, really beautiful on the specific tones of that environment and that um, room. However, as I'm looking through all three of them, I really, <laughs> it's very obvious to me, with my own personal preferences, that eucalyptus is the clear winner. I feel like skin looks the most beautiful. 
the vibrancy of the room is retained the best, they feel the most timeless, they feel the most clean and classic. And as much as I would want to potentially deliver the gallery with that warm and earthy and grainy vibe of terracotta, um, I actually would end up delivering it with something like eucalyptus myself. So I vote for eucalyptus as the winner. A skylight, it was interesting. I feel like it was just too safe for me. Um, a little bit too, just too gentle, but it's good. It's good. It's a good starting point. It's very versatile. It's very, um, reliable, I think was the word I used. And then terracotta is stunning and beautiful. And some of those images look the absolute best with terracotta on them. But overall, as an overall gallery, I'd have to say that eucalyptus is the winner which is surprising to me, but also encouraging to me because it just reminds me again and again that as much as I love muting colors and having things look really cool and I guess you would call very trendy, what catches my eye and what tugs at my heart the most are edits that look timeless because I want that for our clients, you know? So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was interesting. And I'd be definitely curious to hear what was your favorite edit. And just for you to really think about the kinds of edits you want to give to your clients, depending on their preferences, the environment, but actually ultimately you as the creative, you have the responsibility and the honor of choosing the edits that you deliver to your clients. So it is a, a great privilege and I'm excited for you to keep growing and keep learning.